Prime. Can we Prime our island? Can we island? Prime? So I'm using Mac, Mac Prep and Prime 24 hour eye base. Do you guys want some primer? Yeah, I've actually. Got primer, actually. Do you have an eye primer? Um, I have a primer. Not Do you want to use primer. my eye primer? Is that an actual eye primer? Yeah. Mm. Priya, what primer are you using? Uh, okay. Mac. Mac Prime. Yeah. Prepping Prime. I'm using the color Rush as a transition shade, but it's a lot more pigmented than I thought. Oh, fuck, I'm not this brush is not doing anything for me. I'm using the this brush is Juvia's Place brushes. Oh wow, this is nice. Bitch, we about to do this shit. I'm okay, literally so just blending my transition shades. Okay, okay, no. no, actually, I need it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Wait, but this out. is not working. I feel like. The thing is, they're, they're, they're pigmented, but they're not blending well. Like, they're not blending, yeah. I'm spending, it's like sticking on Yeah, it's eye. sticking on one place where you first initially put the brush, put it and on. then it's not moving. It's smooth when it's on me, but it... Does it not feel like... To it, does it not feel like it feels dragging a little bit? Okay. If that's the word, like... It's... My skin is stretching when you put it on. Okay. I love Juvia's Place brushes. Um... They're so cute. Mm. It's a bit, some of the colours are a bit chalky. I think some look, like some are matte. matted. This like they're very yeah, matte. glittery. It's really pigmented, but some of them are really like, not chalky. I don't know what okay. to call it. And then I'm gonna, if we don't finish this, can we please finish it before the other girls start? Because I really have somewhere to be after this. <laughs> so you want to go clubbing and then? You just don't go anywhere? You just <laughs> stay at home? No, no, no. When you get ready and like, 20 minutes and you're like, fuck it, I'll go out. Anymore. These brushes are not working for me. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting pigment, we're getting there. It's, it's really away. hard to work with. The blendability. Yeah, like it blends, but it doesn't blend. As you can see, I've been on the same fuck. Oh, so it disappears? Yeah. I feels really sticky. I don't know if it's the primer. I don't think it's the no. primer. I like these colors. Black. They're quite cute. I'm, I'm just trying to pack it on glitz and because glam. it's not really sticking to the concealer like I'd like. This is just an LA Pro Girl regular regular concealer. But you know what I've noticed yet? Like, blendability, I think it depends on skin tone as well because some people it looks like it blends out more than it blends out on darker skin girls. Like me, some colours, like I can blend from here to the end of time and it's just not going to work for me. I don't know if it goes like Yeah, like it won't move or if it moves, it moves like really patchy. <laughs> Okay, so okay. the colours are beautiful. They are so gorgeous. Pigment actually... on point. And I love how she's like put certain colours like in you know how like the purple palette oh my god. Literally just look at how she's like matched all the colours together so that you can literally just use one palette for the whole look. Like I didn't even touch did I touch that one? I think I used shush for like to be fair, I did use both of them, but I only used this yellow color Access in Yeah, the, I used one from in this one because Dark Magic. I wanted some yellow in there. But I loved the 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 pigmentation's really good. So good. But it's it, it doesn't I blend. think it was because we were rushing and we didn't let the primer set in first. That's why it was I don't know because I do my makeup every day rushing and I put on the primer and I just go. But for some reason, it felt like when you first put it on your skin, it didn't like move after You know that. how it's you like so to, like, soft, you have to like, like kind of do it a little bit hard. Just for pigmentation, I would definitely give her a, 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 a solid 9.5. Yeah, yeah, 9.5. I mean, I haven't, but there's all of the colors. Like, I really want to see how this top secret, like if I had yeah. more time, I would have incorporated that interesting color in. Rating? Um, I would give it in all in all. I give all it in all eight. Seven point five because I feel eight. like blendability is a really important factor. Yeah. Because, you know, if imagine someone who is like a beginner trying to use these shades yeah, and then just, just like, looking like an unblended mess. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But I really enjoyed it. I used the Bling Boss. I kind of like the colors on this, but obviously, <laughs> like for my personal eye color. Maybe I should have chose something different, but they were kind of smooth, but some dragged when you tried to put it on your eye. What do you mean drag? Like, 
when she was putting it on, it felt like my um, blending eyelid. Was the, was the easy. Yeah, it was. Oh, like tugging. It, yeah, yeah, tugging oh, at my eye. I mean, it's a good palette. The pigmentation is there on some of the colours, not all of the colours, but it's not very. I don't know. There's something about it I don't really like. Like the glitter is really hard to move. Yes. Like it almost like did not move at all and this orange looks so good like a lot it looks so good but when you like put it on to like blend it i don't know if you saw it was like literally vanishing before my eyes <laughs> so i don't know i don't know if i'd buy it uh i like the colors i like the colors in like every palette like the palettes that you can work with like the colors within each palette itself but you can either do like i think the matte ones you could do like daytime looks and then the glitter ones, you could just top it up for like an evening look kind of thing. I use Guilt Trip and Classified. But because I put like both glitters, it was actually really stiff. And I actually tried rubbing it off, it does not rub off. But I know that it's very, I know what you mean by like the dragging. Yeah. Because I was just like trying to pat it on and then I think you can't like... Play with it after. Yeah. Mm. I'm not really a... I don't really know too much about eyeshadow, but... <laughs> out of 10, I'll give it like a six and a half. I'm not gonna lie. It's not, it's I think not amazing. It's better than average, for sure, because of the colours and the way it is. Like, the way it comes up on your eye is, like, really intense. And I would say probably six out of 10 or seven. I wouldn't actually go out of my way to buy this, I think. No, I would I would probably, if they sell sold one colour, then I'll probably just buy one colour. I'd give it, well because of like the variety of colours and stuff and because I'm not too much on eyeshadows, I'd probably give it like a seven because I, I like all the different colours but I wouldn't personally buy it if I'm honest. I don't feel like there's that much variety though, I've seen all of these shades before like naked palette, morphe palette, like I've seen all of these shades before in this particular order so it's nothing it's nothing wow. new. Wow.